there's this work that happens behind the scenes for, I, I would imagine, um, many people who are marginalized in, in, in many ways. And so if you're a woman, if you are black, if you are queer, if you have disability, you know, seen or unseen, that um, there's this work that is happening behind the scenes around your own internalized oppression and again, centering of, you know, the dominant culture. And, you know, it's, it's, a, it's constant work. So that's why when we say we're tired, we're tired. This installation is really kind of a reflection of all of the, you know, places and people that we've gotten to, to meet while in residencies. And so, yeah, we wanted to get a sense of this place and honor the local diasporic context while also bringing a lot of diaspora from the Netherlands, Brazil, um, New York, all over really. The idea of You Read TV is, um, is to create a, an exchange sort of network from the entire diaspora. To be able to put the diaspora in conversation with one another through video. So it's sort of fundamentally about um, bringing people from different places together. The sort of signature project of You Read Press is these passport covers that have this United Republic of the African Diaspora seal on it that symbolically unite people of the diaspora no matter what their nationality. And inside there, we ask people to respond to this question um, or to finish this statement. In the United Republic of the African Diaspora, we will. We're interested in creating new patterns of fabric and you know, wallpaper and things, um, so that it isn't just consuming these found fabrics, exactly. but what is it that, how do we can like continue to redefine exactly. this, this fabric? Um, and so I think that what we're interested in, particularly, rather than speaking to some kind of uh, like transgression of appropriation, is actually the ways in which we can create a two-way road where the you know hegemonic force of the U.S.'s media and our media traveling elsewhere. Like, what does it look like to watch a video from someone in Brazil or Cuba or Zimbabwe or South Africa and have like our long fight for equity be in conversation with other African descendant peoples' long fights for equity? Yeah, and these photos, um, they're family photos from all of the artists in the programming. So. When we collected those videos and then it was time to display it, we were like, what is in every black family living room? Then we were like, photos, absolutely, you know? They're just these precious objects. They're just these cherished objects. Like, look, we made it, we're here, you know? For a moment, I, you know, I almost said, well, I'm, I'm certain there are some white people who have, who had that in their homes. But I think it's important um, uh, for me to practice um, uncentering whiteness and not n not be accommodating f for a moment. So that's the work of unlearning our own oppression and centering whiteness and the power of white supremacy. Imagining, reimagining how, um, how we can redefine this situation for ourselves, right? We're spread out because of what happened through imperialism and the transatlantic slave trade. We didn't have say in where we ended up, um, but we're here now and we, we do have these ways of connecting now through the internet, through travel, through technology. Um, so how do, we, how do we come back together again? That's just really where our focus is. <laughs>